Hi everyone, so I'm making this video in response to a lot of support calls and um, questions I've been getting regarding the Gmail creator. And I have to say, we're going to get back to supporting that, but you know, the way that it works with automation is, especially when you're dealing with, you know, Google and creating Gmail accounts, um, you know, there's so many little things that they can put a stop at for pure automation that we just don't have time to constantly update that because we're just getting ready to roll out version three in Browsio. And version three in Browsio is going to have automation built in. And currently we've got some automation built into Browsio just to give our current users and people who are jumping on board now a little bit of a taste of what the automation is going to be like with Browsio um, being able to do things like, you know, join groups um, based on keywords on on Facebook, join a whole bunch of communities, join and follow people on Google Plus and um, Twitter and all these other places. So we've got all these sort of automation tools built in and you can then go ahead and customize them and actually make them, you know, even more um, customizable. And you can go out and build out your own custom script so that you're not reliant on just what comes within Browsio. We're just giving you a little bit of a, a base of what we think is really important to uh, generate traffic and and, and drive traffic to different um, pages and, and websites online, right? So anyway, off a little bit of a tangent there, I just wanted to give you a little bit of a background as to what, where we're going and why, unfortunately, we're not able to fully support the free Gmail creator right now because um, it's just too many changes right now. And the main problem is that we're, we're, we're using there a very easy thing for Google to just put a block on. And what that is is a um, Russian... I, a Russian um, sorry, a Russian uh, number with a US IP, right? So there's a lot of things, lots of things that, you know, Google can catch up on. And we've fixed them all, actually, in Browsio um, to, to the extent that it's semi-automated. And we're leaving it, making it semi-automated so that you get pretty much, you know, 100% success rate. So we've added two major things is we've added really high quality proxy solution in. And we've got that up here. And I'm actually going to do a demo to show you exactly how this works. Um, and so we're going to use this proxy here that I've just um, opened up, and that's a, a dedicated IP, and you get access to this as well with Browsio, so that you can actually use US IPs with the Russian proxies, and I'm going to show you right now. So that's this IP. It's going to open up um, this project with that IP. Now, you've got to go into Firefox. So this is the uh, Chrome browser, the custom Chrome build, the default. And then we're going to be changing that to Firefox because Firefox is how we're running the, the iMacros. And um, automation, so it's all going to be run with Firefox and not with Chrome. So we're going to be making Firefox the main browser. Okay, so let's open up a Gmail account. And I'm going to show you how we do that right now. And it takes about five to ten seconds um, per account, per automation. And while it's doing this, you mustn't touch anything. Okay, just leave everything alone. All you need to do is click this button up here, fill profile, and, it, and it'll go through the, the, the automatic form filling. And it's doing it in such a way, whereas it's not raising any flags with Google. And we're obviously using a really clean IP address over here so that um, when you go um, to um, validate, you'll either not actually have to verify with the phone or, um, you know, use the Russian number that we have as a solution. Okay, so that's where it stops. It stops here at the date of birth. And then we have the month is the 8th, so that's August. And then gender, Brenda is a female, and that's it. And then we just press next. And as you can notice, it's with a US IP. And it'll come up with the US um, number there, right? So we just click on here, get the SMS activation code, Gmail. So even though it's a US IP, um, it's still going to work. And I'm going to show you the reason why is because of the automation, the semi-automation. So it's not raising any flags whatsoever. It's just so under the radar, right? So that, just do plus seven. You don't need to change that to Russia. Just plus seven is enough. And then continue. And then we're good. Once you see the telephone number, enter verification code, we're good. And this is normally where everything else gets stuck is it just won't give you the ability. It'll just tell you that you cannot use that number for this. Uh, you cannot use that number for this, uh, whatever, um, for this, for, for opening up this account. OK, so the best thing to do is to wait um, three minutes 
Um, I mean, you you know, you can wait like 30 seconds and then try. Sometimes it comes quickly. Like I'm going to try in just 10, 9, 8, 7, 5, 4, 3, 2, and get code. Okay, so it's not there. So the best thing to do is if it doesn't come straight away, to wait literally three to five minutes. Okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pause it and come back in literally three to five minutes. And then we're going to press activation, get code, and the code will come. Okay, so we're back. It's been three minutes. Get code. There it is. Okay, and copy. And paste that in. And continue. And there you go. That's it. That's how we're creating accounts with 100, well, 99% success rate, pretty much. Um, and you don't actually have to use our own inbuilt proxy solution, which comes pretty much free anyway. It's free. Um, you, you, you know, that's part of Browsio suite, you need to connect it to a third party, um, but you can add any proxies you want. And, um, um, you know, using this semi-automation, we, we get like 100% success rates. All right, so um, there you go. That's how we're getting and using the uh, SMS PVA um, numbers to get, you know, 100% success rate on US proxies and any pretty much any proxies.